Okay, we're back here on this pinion nut. I went in there and checked out. It's about 300 foot pounds of torque on that pinion nut. Um, some are saying, you know, change crush sleeve every time you do that. I've never had to do it, but that don't mean nothing. You know, I'm just, I'm doing, you do this at your own risk. But uh, I brought my torque wrench out. It goes to 250. I've locked that in with my pry bar. I got 250, not quite 300. Still have a little bit of a slap in there, but I'm not going to fret it. I brought out my three-quarter inch, one, I mean my one-inch stuff. I'm going to fix and put a little cheater on it and uh, go ahead and bear down on it a little bit more. It's important you get them tight because your backlashes and everything are, are set on a preload in the bearing. But this is not a brand new setup. The gears look new. It may be a brand new setup, but for the most part, I'm assuming, and assumptions make an ass out of you and me both, but I'm assuming they run this rear end. That's what I'm hoping they put some road time on it. But uh, anyhow, I'm going to put the, the, big, the big stuff on it. When you bring that shit out, that's when stuff's getting serious. Because I usually never, ever, these days, used to when I was younger, I used to work that big stuff. But when I bring that stuff out, man, that means my work's got real serious. Instead of real expensive, real difficult, and real cold, hot, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, anyway, we're fixing to jump on that pinion nut with that big boy, and hopefully it don't whip my ass. And, uh... I slip off there and bust my teeth out or something stupid. So, anyhow, uh, my impact, that's a that's a cobalt impact. I had to buy that in a hurry. My Ingersoll Rand impact uh, went down. I want to rebuild the, the veins and then I need to get a kit. It's like 50 bucks to get a kit and rebuild the, the gun. But I used to be able to hammer, and I got to hammering that, and then I got to wiggling on my, my yoke there, and I thought, uh-oh, you know. I had a little bit too much lash left in him, so I uh, went and got off the torque wrench and then checked everything. So we're fixing to put it to it, but I just wanted to reiterate on that a little bit because that is very, very important. Because if you don't get them things back tight, you know you can tear up some stuff, make a bunch of racket. And that's what we're trying to deviate with racket. Like I said in the past, but then I had to think about my gun. Now, I did go buy that gun, and that ain't got near the crap as my Ingersoll Rand gun does. So it don't torque as tight as my other one. So anyhow, I'm going to get the big junk out. We're fixing to go up to 300 pounds the best we can. I'm at 250 right now, so it ain't going to take another quarter turn to me to get there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 